Uh, if you look at the, uh, let's look at the Visio diagram real quick. Uh, there is here is your document. Here is a document in the content server store, and it has a bunch of metadata fields at, at attached to it, uh, like field X Y Z. There is a title, there is a, a folder a description, and there is also a security group, right? In our case, we're only concerned with the security group field attached to this document. And if you have Jane, and she has the role of a contributor, uh, then contributor role. And uh, what I need to mention is that uh, access to security user access to security groups is determined by the roles. And uh, right now Jane has a contributor role. Uh, we have a nice UML stick figure uh, for Jane, and a conventional one for Derek. Uh, the access to the documents identified and uh, specified by the role. In order to for the content server, in order to under, uh, to determine Jane's access to doc01, uh, it needs to know uh, what roles uh, Jane belongs to, and she belongs to only one role, and she's contributor. So, uh, as a contributor, a contributor has read, write, delete access to uh, internal documents, and the value for uh, the value for the security group content group, a uh, field called group of doc1 is internal documents she is contributor she has read write delete and Derek is a reader and she has read only access to this so both of them will see the doc1 uh, because uh, Derek has read only and Jane has full access read write delete however uh, Jane will not see doc02 because uh, there is a content group called projects and Jane has no access to projects uh, Jane only has one head, one role of a contributor. Contributor has no access to projects. Derek, however, has another role. Uh, he has two roles, reader and collaboration. And his collaboration role allows him to access, uh, he, to have read, write, delete access to projects. Let's look at uh, user administration. And uh, we are looking at Alex, and uh, if you look at Alex again, uh, his roles, he, uh, he, on, he only has one role, which is guest, and he has uh, access to public, uh, user, uh, public content group, and only, that's the only content group where he has access, otherwise there's empty braces here and uh, he has read-only access. And I apologize for interruption. Uh, uh, anyway, so uh, we'll look at, again, uh, user, uh, user belongs, Alex, in our case, belongs to role guest, and he has access to public uh, security group as read-only. Uh, let's look at uh, some other person. Let's look at sysadmin. And uh, we look at his roles, and he also has contributor role. Contributor role uh, gives him read write access to uh, public security group, and no access to GTS internet uh, systems or secure. If you look at our uh, the security tab, if you look at uh, permissions uh, by role, uh, you look at uh, contributor. I uh, look at the guest, see then uh, notice the difference between read write on public and read only on, on public. Uh, if you look at uh, permissions by group, which is the content group, you look at the public content group and uh, you see that admin has full access, contributor has read write, and guest has read only. Uh, again, uh, remember the diagram the person can access content based on the content, the value of content group, uh, of, of the actual field called group, and uh, and they access Jane's access to doc01 determined by the role uh, of contributor that has read, write, delete access to this particular group, and Derek has reader access. Uh, he has reader role that has read-only access to internal documents, and he has collaborations role. 
uh, that has full access to uh, another value of the group field called projects. Uh, that's everything uh, uh, that has to do with lock number one, which is role-based security. And again, it's named role-based because uh, access to uh, values of security groups controlled by the user role. If you need more information about uh, role-based security, you can always go to uh, Administrative Tutorials, Oracle Content Server, Administration Tutorials, and actually, uh, my apologies, it's getting started. Uh, getting started with Content Server, my apologies. This is the document that you will need to understand security. Getting started with Content Server, PDF, and uh, getting started uh, Content Server security, uh, security groups, using security groups. Uh, the only thing, uh, again, uh, I'm sorry for re repeating it many, many times. Uh, please, uh, they will uh, put roles, they'll put a second layer, a second lock called accounts, they'll put them together, keep them separate. Uh, in my experience, it was uh, people would have a lot better understanding of uh, Oracle Conda Server Security if they keep role-based security separate from account-based security.